Hey, how's it going everyone? Saints fam back again with another GTA 5 video and today we're going to be taking a look at one of the screenshots Rockstar released last week, the bunker screenshot. Now, again, like I said in yesterday's videos, I, I know that this these have been out for quite some time and you know, you may maybe some of you guys know this already, but what I wanted to do was take a look at where this bunker location was on the map and then talk a little bit more about bunkers now that we know a little bit more information about them. All right, so the actual picture, obviously you guys have seen this one already, but what I'm gonna do is crank up basically everything in it, crank up the exposure and all that so it's a lot brighter. And the reason I'm gonna do this is because in order to figure out the location of where this is on the map, we're gonna have to take a look at some of the stuff in the background. And if you look at the right-hand side of this picture, obviously there is a gigantic cactus and that's gonna come into play in a second. But behind the cactus sort of to the right of it, at the bottom, about halfway or so, you can see some trees. Uh, there's a little pointy tree where, like, there's almost a, it looks like a street light or some sort of yellowish, orangish dot, I guess, on it. And then to the right of that, there is the start of, you know, sort of another tree. Another thing to note is in the background behind all this stuff, it almost looks like a mountain. And since they did say in the Newswire, this stuff, these bunkers are going to be in Blaine County, you would think... That is a mountain. You would think that maybe is Mount Chiliad or something, but it actually, well, you'll see once we do find the location in online, I don't think it is a mountain. I think it's a cloud that they sort of make it, made it look sort of disguised as a mountain. So it would take people a little bit longer to find the actual location of this area. But yeah, that's, uh, those are the few things I want you guys to take note of. There's not much else you can really see in this picture apart from the obvious gigantic bunker sign, the gigantic bunker entrance, and then the crazy looking car. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and hop in to GTA. And now we are here, we are in GTA. All right, and now that we're in GTA, you can see this cactus here is exactly the same as the one we saw in the picture. Also to note, and I'm gonna try and get the same angle. I'm not entirely sure how they got the angle they did in the picture. But let me go back in first person. You can see at the uh, the bottom part, and I can't really point to it because this isn't online. But in this part, so look at this like V part. There is that pointy tree that you saw in the uh, the super crazy exposed picture with the orange light. Also, to the right of it, if I back up a little bit and get a better angle here, you can see towards the to the right of that, there's the start of that other tree. And I know it's not 100% like perfect matching or whatever, but this is the location. And, you know, for the people saying that, uh, well, how do you know, man, the cactuses aren't all the same or the, the cactuses might all be the same and stuff. Like I said, the things in the background are what gives it away. And going back to the mountain part, you can see there are mountains to the right and the left, but there are no mountains like straight ahead. So I feel like that was a cloud in the picture. This is the area that that bunker is going to be in. And as you can see, there's nothing here. So that actually is kind of interesting. And that that's like what I want to talk about in this video, because there's nothing here. We know now that they're going to have to add something to the map. And this is going to sort of break what they said way back in the day, how online is either three or six months before GTA single player, because if they go ahead and add something in online, you know, then obviously it should be there in single player, but it's not. So it gets kind of confusing, but I'm actually glad they're doing this because I think that restriction is uh, is holding them back from a few things. So getting back to the bunker entrance, the bunker sign was kind of in front of this cactus, probably like right in this area. And then the actual bunker itself was over here. And what I'm sort of expecting them to do, just like because uh, I made a video of about a month or two ago talking about bunker locations and all that. And I, I, I said in that video that what they're probably going to eventually do is just sort of have a hatch, you know, some sort of door in on the top part of the world, and then the bunker would be below ground, and that's what it looks like it's gonna happen. Although this one, it looks like there's gonna be some sort of, you know, container, I guess, that has a, a big enough entrance for you to drive into that you can bring underground. So, that's actually kind of interesting. Now, another interesting part about the bunkers is that they say dotted through Blaine County are the hatches. So it appears that these bunkers are only going to be up here in Blaine County, which kind of sucks for people who like everything in the city or even people who maybe like stuff in 
Polito Bay up there. But it makes sense because if I just go high here, you can see there's a lot of open area for them to throw these these hatches or these little bunker entrances. And I'm still for like if they don't use this little place uh, over here, if they don't use this little entrance. I'm going to be super disappointed. I know it's kind of it's not big enough for a car. But come on, man, it's such a perfect entrance. And it's such a nice location, because when you have the airport there, you got the sh the road over there with all the stuff on it. So yeah, I, I really hope they do that. But getting back to the point, it looks like Blaine County is going to be looking a little bit different. Now, we don't know how many. I'm, I'm sort of thinking they're going to limit themselves. I don't think you're going to see like 50 different, you know, hatches popping up all across this, this area. I'm thinking probably more along the lines of the amount of offices we have, you know, four, five, maybe six. They want to push it. And the one over here might even be like the, the cheapest one because I, I think with the vehicle, the import export update in the screenshots, the, the picture they showed was the cheapest vehicle warehouse. So, you know, maybe maybe they're doing that again, but I'm, I'm really excited and let me know in the comments what you guys think of this like where in Blaine County What's the best spot do you or you would want to see a bunker hatch? Obviously the underground part doesn't matter because that's gonna be you're not gonna see anything But yeah, where would you like to see a bunker hatch in Blaine County? That is it though with the video. Thank you all for watching like I said, I'll be doing some more videos on the gun running stuff to catch up in case you didn't look too deep into the pictures and the information. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. But that is it with this video. Thank you all. Like I said, as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.